me again, your Shazi, and welcome back to my video and to this channel. Well, it's so nice to be here again with you guys. So today, <clears throat> I'm going to answer one of our viewers question. And the question is, I sometimes see best of best in Philippines. Yes. So what is beso beso? Mm. And is it common in the Philippines? So beso, it's not beso beso, but it's beso only. It's a Filipino term for chick kissing. So you need to lean forward and then it's like two person touching each other's chicks. So it's not very common in the Philippines because this chick kissing is commonly in British, British, UK, yes, in the UK, but in the Philippines, it's one of, of something that we adapt from other countries because it's not very common in the Philippines. So, beso beso or chick kissing, but as in the Philippines, also, if you want to respect or see someone, it's a it's either friend or your family you can have the manupo yes that this one i know you're familiar with that and yeah i hope i answered your question yes so now let's proceed with our lesson proper which is pahingi in this video we're going to learn about translating the word pahingi in English. So probably pahingi means ask. Okay, ask something or give me something. So that is pahingi. Yes. And if you want to ask politely, you can add po. And in our previous lesson, we also had that, the po and opo. Yes. So if you want to appear polite, so you can say pahingi po. Yes, so you're asking someone politely. Yes. Right. So, meaning to say, pahingi means asking someone to give you something. Or, yes, asking or give me something that I need. Okay? That you need only. So, let's talk about its examples. So, first example I listed here. Pahingi nga ng tubig. So if you are in a long ride, you are exercising or jog, you are running in a long run, and then you completely feel tired, you can ask for water by saying pahingi ng tubig. Yes, pahingi ng tubig. But remember, if you want to appear polite, you can say pahingi po ng tubig. Yes, especially if you're asking for a elderly person. Yes, so you can say po, pahingi po ng tubig. Yes, because you're very thirsty. So you can say pahingi ng tubig. So in English, that means give me water, please. Yes, if there's po, you can ask please. So give me water, please. Okay, or give me water. Alright? Yes, can you repeat after me? Pahingi ng tubig. One more time. Pahingi ng tubig. Okay, that's good. In, in English, that means give me water, please. Alright, very good. Now, if you are in a restaurant, this is the second example. If you are in a restaurant and you're about to give your order or you can have your order, you can have pahingi ng menu or pahingi ng menu, please. Pahingi po ng menu. So, that means give me the menu, please. Give me the menu, please. Mm. Yes. And if you're done eating, you can ask for the receipt. Yes. By saying in Tagalog, Pahingi po ng resibo. Pahingi po ng resibo. Or pahingi ng resibo. Right. So, in English, that means, Give me the receipt, please. Give me the receipt, please. 
Okay? In saying that in the Galog, that means pahingi po ng resibo. Pahingi po ng resibo. Very good. Yes. And one more example is sugar or salt. You can simply say pahingi ng asukal, pahingi ng asin. Mm. You can say pahingi ng asin means give me the salt, please. Pahingi ng asukal, give me the sugar. Alright? Yes, yeah, so I hope. I hope that catches you. Do you get it? Yes. If you want to ask something, so you can say pahingi po. Pahingi. Alright? And now, it's time for our vocabulary. Now, I want to show you something. This is my watch. And then, I'm going to tell you the Tagalog word for cheap. Yes, so this one's cheap. It's not expensive, it's cheap. So if you want to say something cheap in Tagalog, that means mura. Okay, one more time, mura. Can I hear it? Mura. Very good. So it, mura in English, that means cheap. Rilos, this one is a Rilos watch. So, ang Rilos ko ay mura. So, it means in English, my watch is cheap. Okay? Mura, cheap. Mahal means expensive. Okay? One more time. Mahal is expensive. Mura means cheap. So they're opposite, mahal and mura. Mahal, expensive, mura, cheap. I hope you get it right. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Goodbye for now.